Hi there, this is uh, Ranjit and this is kind of a vlog style video and this is about uh, the Mac Mini that I ordered. Uh, that's the Core i7 Mac Mini and uh, I posted about that on my Twitter channel that's Geeky Ranjit and I got a lot of replies, some negative, some positive about it. Uh, but uh, let me talk about that. I mean, I'm making a video like this because I just cannot reply to every tweet I get. Uh, so let me uh, talk why I did this and actually uh, if you don't recall actually I am being a Mac user for a long time I think so I migrated I don't recall late 2008 or 2009 at that time I purchased the iMac uh, which was that uh, if I recall that 24 inch iMac I still have that <clears throat> and I used it for two years but the problem I was having with the iMac is I have a, what do you say a problem in my neck and back and due to that height of that monitor it was straining a little bit uh, and we couldn't diagnose it for almost a year and the problem was that height and the problem with the iMac is you cannot just adjust the height of the monitor so I had to uh, get rid of it actually it's still there but I don't use it that much and uh, six months earlier to that also I got uh, this MacBook Air this is the new one I replaced that one and been working with that but again I'm a kind of a person you can call me kind of old-fashioned person for doing some serious work I need a desktop kind of a thing I just can't do serious work on a laptop so uh, so at that time I did make a uh, what do you say a computer for Hackintosh and uh, if you recall uh, I actually made about six seven videos about that Hackintosh and that's the same computer that I'm using right now it's a core i7 and uh, it worked fine and I used it for about six seven months and I must have made about 100 odd videos on that uh, one but the problem with the Hackintosh is that uh, everything does not work as you expect at, and at times when there are some updates or something some things can get broken and that was uh, causing some issues to me with my workflow because it I was getting distracted about tinkering it and keeping it up to date uh, so I migrated to Windows last year I think so and it's been fine it was Windows 8 at that time I have a license for that <clears throat> it was working fine and it worked fine for about last six months then I started getting these Windows errors and stuff like that randomly I don't install a lot of programs nothing uh, just about four months ago uh, I did a clean install and all that stuff was fixed but again I'm having it and uh, what that is eking me out uh, recently I got the Windows 8.1 update and the system has become even more, un, uh, what do you say, I, I have to reboot it three or four times and I just don't like that. With my Mac, for example, this MacBook Air, I just don't reboot it and I'm used to that kind of stability. So I am decided to move to uh, the Mac again. I don't know if it's a good idea or not. Uh, the problem was that, again, I need a desktop style of computer. Yes, I know the iMac uh, would have been the best option, but again, as I told you, uh, iMac has that fixed screen and that height is an issue for me because of my issue with the neck and the back. So simply speaking, I can't use the iMac. So I was stuck with using desktop models. Uh, and in the desktop models, we just have uh, the Mac Pro and this uh, iMac, uh, sorry, uh, what is this Mac Mini <coughs> that I ordered. I guess I really, really wanted the new Mac Pro, uh, specifically the six core one, but in India, it's pretty expensive. Uh, I just inquired it's working almost close to about three lakhs that's almost five thousand us dollars that's just too expensive for me as of now so uh, i ordered this uh, what do you say uh, mac mini the core i7 uh, i know it's not the beast of a machine uh, it's actually pretty slow and it does not even have a dedicated graphic card uh, but uh, i like uh, but i think so it should be fine for me we'll know that very soon I am just going to use uh, specifically the Final Cut Pro on that. I don't use a lot of effects in my video, so I'm hoping that uh, it should be able to render it fine. I know it won't handle 4K properly, but I'm going to stick at 1080p videos. Uh, so Final Cut Pro is the software that I use on the Mac. I'm used to that. So in terms of soft video editing software, I don't have a problem. So again, I know that this is uh, it's just a stopgap solution, this uh, Mac Mini. And uh, yes, it's just... I think so as of now ideal for me and I think so the Mac mini I ordered comes with just 4 gig of RAM uh, I'm going to upgrade it at 2 8 GB or so and I'm not going to do even unboxing and uh, video about it because it's kind of an old uh, uh, machine if you guys would like I do an unboxing and a hands-on overview with that do let me know in the comment section 
So uh, this is the entire story about uh, why I'm getting the uh, Mac Mini. So do you want that I have uh, about once a month or something like this make non-tech related videos like this? Do let me know in the comment section and uh, hope to see you in my next video.